everyone, John here from TechReview.com and today we're going to look to see how easy it is to upgrade to the latest 9.3 iOS public beta. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you backed up your iPhone. Backing up your iPhone is essential because if you don't like the new beta or it's too buggy for you or things go wrong you need a way to get back your phone to how it used to be. So make sure the first thing you do is back your iPhone up. So the first thing you want to do is go and head over to beta.apple.com and that's where you're going to find some information on how to become part of the public beta. If you scroll down, plenty of information and you want to sign in with your iCloud account. Now once you've signed in, there's going to be a ton of information that you want to make sure you read because you know this is beta, there are going to be bugs, there are going to be issues so you need to understand what it is you're getting yourself in for. Um, so again, you know, another reminder, make sure you've backed up your phone. Once you have a good read and you still feel confident you want to go through this, you want to head and find the link that says enroll your iOS device. Once you've selected enroll your iOS device, this will take you to a new page where again, it's going to give you a ton of information on what you need to do next. Uh, essentially, you need to download a profile that will be installed on your iPhone, which tells Apple you want to be part of the public beta. Now once you've done that, um, you'll be able to then download the new 9.3 or any further betas after that. Now it's very simple, once you've clicked on that, you will be asked to install a profile, install your passcode. Once you've put in your passcode, you can then continue to install the profile. This basically only takes a few minutes, there is a restart required once it's installed and once that's done, you are ready basically to install iOS. 9.3 beta okay so once your phone has restarted you can go into settings come down to um, general and check for software updates and what you should then see is the latest public beta in this case it's 9.3 public beta 1 and then basically you just want to just update now this will take a few minutes to download as it's you know quite a big update once that's finished downloading you can then install it it will restart again and after that, you are then on iOS 9.3 Public Beta 1. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that nice and easy. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.